Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's video is a 15 minute yoga stretch for sore and tight muscles. This is a full body practice. We'll do stretches to relieve stiffness, tension, tightness, and soreness in the entire body. We start with our standing stretches and then move on to the floor. We'll do our kneeling, seated, and supine postures. Shavasana is optional in this one. I'll leave you with about one minute of Shavasana music at the end. And of course, you may stay as long as you wish. Before we start, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. That is your notifications. And that way you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already done so, please check out my membership site, Yoga Upload Plus. That's yogauploadplus.com. On Yoga Upload Plus, you'll find exclusive yoga classes that are not available here on YouTube. You also get access to daily yoga challenges and yoga programs. Also, it is much easier to find what you're looking for on Yoga Upload Plus because you can filter the videos according to length, intensity level, purpose of the class, and the focus of the class. Best of all, you can try it for free. There is a free 14-day trial, so you can test if it's right for you. I will link this in the description box below. That is yogauploadplus.com. And now we're ready to start. Enjoy your practice. Let's begin with a standing side stretch. Place your right hand on your right hip and reach your left arm up. Inhale, lengthen, reach up and exhale, fold towards the right. And use your right hand to gently push the hips towards the left. Feel the lengthening in the left side of the body. Take one more deep breath here. Release back to center, switch sides. Left hand on your left hip. Inhale, right arm up, and exhale, fold to the left. Use the left hand to gently press the hips to the right. Press that right foot down especially, and feel the stretch in the right side of the body. A few more seconds here. And release back to center. We'll do a standing back bend. Place your hands lightly on your lower back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, lift the chest. You can look up a little bit if that feels okay with the neck. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe and feel the stretch across the front of the body. One more deep breath here. Release, come back up, relax the arms. Take a wide stance with the toes turned out. Bend the knees and drop the hips, hands on the thighs. Go as wide as you can with the feet here. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring the right shoulder towards the left knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, switch sides. We'll do two more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pause here a few extra seconds. Feel the stretch in the upper back inner thighs. One more breath. Other side. Last few seconds here. Release. Heel toe the feet in. And shake it out. Come to hands and knees for cat and cow. Stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, push the floor away. Again, inhale. 
exhale. Three more rounds. After your last cycle, come back to neutral spine. We'll stretch the calves, left leg back. Actively press that left heel back. Push the floor away with your palms. Get a little extra stretch there in the back of your left leg. Release that left knee down, switch sides, right leg back. Press the right heel back and down. Push the floor away with the hands. Last few seconds. And release that right knee down. We'll focus on the upper body this time with thread the needle. And slide your right arm through the left. Rest your right shoulder and head on the mat. Mm -hmm. Actively press the left palm down to help twist the upper body a little bit. Stay here, or if it feels good, reach your left arm up. And for some, you might wrap your left arm behind you. A few seconds here. To carefully release, bring your left hand down if it's not there. Push the floor away with the left hand to lift yourself up. And you might start by walking the hands forward a little bit so they're not directly under the shoulders when you do your thread the needle. Other side, slide your left arm through. Mm -hmm. Actively press the right hand down to help the upper body twist. Stay here or lift the right arm up. Maybe wrap the right arm behind you. A few more seconds. And push the floor away to help lift yourself back up. Come to a seated bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of the feet together. Lengthen the spine and fold forward from the hips any amount. Relax the shoulders and the head. Allow the knees to fall out to the sides. And breathe through the sensations you feel in the inner thighs and the hips. Take one more full breath. Release. Janu Shirshasana, extend the right leg forward. Right leg is straight, right foot active, left foot to your right inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine first and exhale, fold forward any amount. Your hands might be on the floor or on your leg or the foot. Press the heel forward, press your toes back towards your face. Feel a hamstring stretch and breathe. One more. Ease out of your pose, switch sides. Left leg forward, right foot in. We'll keep that left foot engaged, lengthen the spine, fold forward any amount. You might reach for the leg, the ankle, or the foot. A few more seconds. Slowly release. 
come up. We'll lie down on the mat for pigeon on your back. We'll hip and glute stretch here. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Slide your left arm through that space you made. Flex the right foot. Think of the play of opposites as you hug your left thigh in towards your chest. Press the right knee away from you gently. A few more seconds. Keep your right ankle crossed, release just your hands, and plant your left foot down on the outer edge of your mat, and allow your legs to fall to the right. So your right ankle is weighing down the left thigh, feel the stretch in the front left hip, front left thigh, relax the arms. few more seconds. Carefully release, come back to the center, uncross the legs. Other side, pigeon on your back, cross your left ankle over the right thigh. Keep that left foot engaged. As you hug the right thigh in towards the chest, move your left knee away from you. Keep the hips rooted to the mat and breathe. Keep the ankle cross, release just the hands. Bring your right foot down on the right edge of your mat and let your legs fall to the left. Keep that left ankle pressing down on the right thigh. few more seconds. Carefully release, come back to center, uncross. Hug both knees into the chest. A few more poses here, reclining twist. Release your left leg down to the mat. And bring your right leg across the body. Stack the hips, relax the right arm. Scan the body for any gripping or tension that you're unconsciously holding on to. Soften that, let that go. Take one more deep breath. Come back to the center and switch sides. Hug the left thigh in, release your right leg down, bring the left leg across the body. Not a lot of effort in this one. Relax and enjoy the twist. Keep the breath going. few more seconds. Release. 
Come back to the center, hug both knees into the chest, your last pose, happy baby, bring the knees wide, lift the feet. Your hands can rest on your thighs, your legs, or the feet. Keep the hips rooted down to the mat. You can stay in happy baby or add some gentle movements, rocking side to side, maybe straightening one leg and then the other. A few more seconds here. Last breath. And release. The legs down for a full body stretch. Arms up overhead. Take a deep inhale. Stretch the entire body. Point the toes. Exhale. Let it go. If you'd like, you can stay for a few minutes of Shavasana, final relaxation. Thank you so much for joining us today.